All right. So, Leon, Leon O'Neill Jr., Cypress, Texas native, number eight safety in Texas coming out of high school in 2018, mm-hmm. my year. Mm-hmm. Uh, starter, leader. Uh, 2022 Reese's Senior Bowl participant. Congratulations on that. Yes, sir. One of the most recognized and loved faces in all of Aggieland. Wild Mustang to now wake him up. (laughs) Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just blessed to be here. Uh, Blessed for more life. When I woke up this morning, so I'm just happy. <laughs> this is this is why you're here, because that's a that's a tremendous answer. So before we really get into things, as a fellow senior, I graduate next month. Mm. I'd just like to congratulate you on making it down this winding road. How are you feeling about it? Uh, it's bittersweet, you know. Bittersweet. It's so bittersweet. bittersweet. It's like ah, uh, you're ready for the future, but also you don't want to leave A and M, and you just love being an Aggie, so. <sighs> It's like a special that. place, yeah. no? It's it's like no. it's like no other, and yeah. I mean, you and I both. Um, we love it here, uh, and that's yeah. just that's just what it is. Um, so I want to start off with your your legacy, right? So the season was what it was. I mean, mm-hmm. but a lot of the story around you is how you've developed over the years, um, and you expressed that you wanted you wanted to leave the program better than yeah. when, than when you came well, into it. Yeah. Uh, do you think you were successful? I mean, I and a lot of other Aggies would, would uh, like yeah, to say I, so. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I think I was successful. Yeah. I think um, I did a great job and did as much as I could to uh, pour as much heart and love and care into uh, everything I did here, yeah. and um, I'm still doing it as as I'm on my way out. So sure. um, I only could do what God uh, gave me the strength to do, and uh, I just thank him every single day for giving me that strength, you know, and um, having the support that I have uh, here. So for the most part, like Aggieland pretty much – made me who I am today yeah. so like for the most part I think uh we both play both sides but there's no way I did more than what it did, done for me yeah so um forever my whole life I'll be giving back to you know that's incredible so we talk about the care and for me care just comes with preparation right like you right. I'm sure that you gave everything you had to this school to this program yeah. to yourself really yeah. so I just um that's actually one of the things that I, I first heard about you so you and I met uh, in Boulder Creek over mm-hmm. the summer, mm-hmm. and I didn't know who else was going to be there or anything like that. But yeah. I'm like, who? Like, who is that? Because mm-hmm. I, I heard you talking, just mm-hmm. like interacting with some of the guys. I'm like, who is that? Oh, that's Leon. Da da da. He works so hard. Yeah. I don't even remember who told me, but he works so hard. I'm like, we like okay, yeah. like that's you know that's great. But then yeah. like no, like he do, he goes above and beyond. I'm like, wow, okay. So then I started to kind of yeah. see you around more, talk to you mm-hmm. a little bit. And I just want to, in doing the research, as I mentioned before, your work ethic is, is something that people really admire about you. I'm getting you, this so. from Jordan Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank something. you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, I just want you to talk about that a little bit. Like, uh-huh. going into this season, what was your mentality and, and your workouts? Like, what was it, uh, this is the last go-round, give it everything I have? Yeah. Or where'd that come from? Uh, yeah, it, it was more about, like, saying, you know um, – I live for today, right? There it is, it's one day at a time. You got, you got that 24 hours within that day, and um, it all starts when you wake up. It all starts when you wake up. You got to have a plan. You got to have preparation. And I thought I did a, a subpar job my freshman, sophomore year, yeah. not really understanding how to prepare as a college athlete. Right. Um, I really wanted it, though. You know, I was really passionate, same guy, you know, really enthusiastic, but I had to put all my um, marbles in one basket and figure it out. So yeah. I think for the most part, like waking up early, and taking six cups of water to the head, <laughs> right? And then um, going out there to, to the track to go yeah. run and try to work on that. And then um, after I go to the track and run with uh, 1500s, yeah. I go, you know, get a, get some food, you know, focus on school a little bit. And then now I'm back working out with my team. And um, I implemented um, over that time because I think I was doing it for, what, I think this past summer was 17 weeks. Okay. And a week before that, I mean, the year before that was um, – kind of the same time around 17 to 18 weeks so what i implemented with that was a tremendous amount of uh discipline uh discipline um and unbelievable amount of work ethic and you also gotta i think i built a great mental state for myself where you know before you cared what everybody else think and you cared about all the stupid things that you you know all the distractions right yeah yeah pretty much and uh, and then so it came down to the point where it was like wow I don't even care about the results anymore. Yeah. I just know I'm working. You know? Whatever I think that's happens, what that's happens. what yeah, and I think that's what really changed it. It was the process for me and it wasn't ever the results anymore. Yeah. And I think uh if you result driven and not process driven, 
you'll never ever reach where you want to reach. I you know, agree with you. so I think uh, living within the moment and uh, trusting the process yeah. is uh, something that's uh, very uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Essential to you? Yeah, I just I just feel like people don't treat that. Oh, it's often it, overlooked. Yeah, it, yeah overlooked. it's often overlooked. That's what yeah, it is. It's like people you. say it, but they don't really understand what it means That's and true. really practice it. I think uh, you actually try to like practice what you preach yeah. is uh, something really important. So I think that's a. Uh, that's what really changed me. Yeah, like falling in love with the grind. People yeah, talk about yeah. it. Like, oh, yeah, like, I yeah. love the grind. I yeah. love working And you got to feed your brain. It's what you feed your brain, that's right? True. So I'm, I'm feeding my brain with, like, different videos of Kobe oh. Bryant. Kobe. Yeah, <laughs> that's, like, my biggest uh, biggest hero, yeah, right? So is, I, I'm, yeah. Kobe will do certain things. And uncommon things. Uncommon things. Well, he made his self. It, it was it's uncomfortable things. Yeah. At first, it was uncomfortable for yeah. him. But I think uh, as he went, he became very comfortable. And 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 um, it was all about the process to him. Yeah. And he never cared about the results. He always wanted to win. Yeah. But he cared about the things within winning and what it takes to win. What so doing things the right way all the time, yeah. even if it's not easy. You know. So, so I think that's a. That's a big uh, leap I, I made these past two years. Yeah. So and, uh, would you say in talking about Kobe, like his work ethic is the thing that you admire most about him? Yeah, I mean, there's sure, some other things sure, there, just in sure. who he was and um, just how he saw the world, right? Like constantly yeah. wanting to improve and be better, be yeah. the best. That, yeah. That's his whole thing. But, yeah. um, yeah, we love Kobe on this side. Yeah. So um, I talked about our meeting in Colorado and mm -hmm. just uh, something about you that really stood out to me is your energy right like it's infectious right. and in a quote that i i found of yours you said this is from 2019 mm -hmm. you said i can take all types of negativity from left to right that's what makes me special we've all got something that makes us special we've just got to find it i'm yeah. a star i'm a light as long as you believe in that you can go as far as you want to go one i love that like i <laughs> love that quote and two i believe that the brightest stars have often experienced the darkest moments. Would, right. you, would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. for sure. So I'm going to just talk about a little bit of what you experienced, and we can hop into, you know, that and, and just really delve into it if, you, if you're comfortable oh, yeah. with that. Okay. So your freshman year of high school, mm -hmm. um, there was an incident of theft, mm -hmm. right? And you, you were sentenced to 12 months probation. And that, right. that same year, you made the move from quarterback to safety yeah right? okay yeah, so yeah. so the rest is history so a mm -hmm. couple more things Maybe. so two years later you lost your cousin keith yeah. right someone you love someone who saw something in you before you even saw it in yourself really yeah. and that same year you created your staple wake them up mm -hmm. and went from no offers to dozens yeah right okay throughout your sophomore collegiate season you battled several injuries um and at the end of it you found yourselves at a crossroad you found yourself at a crossroads right. should i stay should i go right. I've been there and i went anyway <laughs> <laughs> yeah here we are right. right at the end of your your season your senior season yeah um talk to me about how you managed to find that light and all that dark right like how yeah. that's not an easy thing to do nothing yeah. i just said is easy for anyone to stomach yeah. and how did you overcome i think um as much <laughs> as much as i created my own light mm -hmm. right i created my own darkness yeah. i think uh wh what i think and how i think um how i move and how i react to certain uh outcomes yeah. um dictate a lot of my success and okay. a lot of my failure okay. i think um as i as i move forward within all uh, the successes mm -hmm. that i have got um, and all the failure that I have received, yeah. I think uh, what I learned the most is all off of, like, my reactions towards them. Right. Like, um, my mentality yeah. towards them. Mm -hmm. Like, if I, <laughs> like, and it's, like I said, the result of the situation, right? Like, if I if I fail, mm -hmm. if I fail, okay, fine. Now it's like, how do you react off that failure? What you doing about do it? Do you beat yourself up about it? Mm -hmm. Do you blame other people for your problems? Right. You know, like, mm -hmm. are you being negative? In that, that in that negativity, yeah, you, you know, and um, or you got or is the other side of right. it where you could be like really positive about it, like mm -hmm. okay, I fall, I'm just gonna get back up, you know, it's a new day tomorrow, right. I got a whole another 24, mm -hmm. I'm super juiced up, I'm super excited, <laughs> like you gotta be dramatic about your failures, that's you know true, what I mean? Yeah. I think uh, that's what makes you special, that's mm -hmm. what makes you unique. I think uh, we all have that within us, but it's yeah. the way we think and how we process it, For sure. you know, like hey. I'm tired. My body hurts. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wake up 5 o'clock in the morning and go run again. Yeah. I don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Well, you tell yourself that, you, you're already, like, building up. Just making it harder. Yeah, than, you know, like, you're building to that up right. to the point where it's like, okay, well, 5 o'clock hit. Are you, you know, I, you I'm, I'm not getting up. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> you know, so exactly. like it's really what you train yourself and, and how you think. I think uh, the perspective is, is, is big. I think yeah. I tell my teammates that a lot this year when we went through uh, some ups and downs, you know. Respect. And life is just a roller coaster, you know. I just tell them life, life, life is a roller coaster. Bad it's things true. happen. But I think with the f- great faith of God and uh, a positive perspective, like, the storm will end eventually. It you will. know, so I, that's that's – that's the bottom line of everything, you know. I think uh, staying positive within everything that's going on. I think uh, I remember, like, struggling, um, moving with my father. Yeah. He was uh, in and out of my life. My mom and, her, um, and him uh, divorced or whatever. Okay. Um, and that was hard for me as a kid. I got a lot of trouble. Um, I was a class clown, but I was really passionate about the, uh, sports. Always. Always but I, I just never had that um, that figure that can, you know, help me Kinda push forward. Yeah, 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 like my mom worked a 12-hour job. She tried her best. Um, she did a phenomenal job actually, right, yeah. but, um, I just needed more obviously. And, um, yeah. my dad came in my life, my coach, uh, coach Rohan came in my life, coach Cobia, and they just really completely changed me. I got my first set of A's and B's. I remember getting on the phone with my mom and me and her sharing tears. Cause I got my first set of I A's and B's that. on a report card. Yeah. <laughs> like I couldn't believe I did that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like, uh, God does so much for us and, um, uh, and even though we like don't really deserve it you know that's so true. i think uh that's just really what life all about you know just failure and and the perspective of how you act in that failure Cause, right. i mean honestly you could really say it's not even failure it's only a experience yeah you know experience, yeah not trying yeah, to go. yeah so i mean it's human nature to learn and keep going mm-hmm. so i think this is a a beautiful uh journey for me at a and with that you know yeah. i think i've grown so much as a man and so i'll be successful regardless right no matter what, I'm just going to stay positive. No matter how bad or how it dark is. it gets, you know, I'll always shine my always own light. Always be the light. Yeah, I'll always be, be the light. Be your own light. Yeah. I yeah. love that. So kudos to you, though, Thank you. just because, Thank you. I mean, for all that you've done, but that requires a tremendous amount of self-reflection, right? Yeah. Like introspection. That's not an easy thing for people to do. Mm-hmm. It's not an easy thing for people to look in the mirror and be like, right. this is on you. Right. But but you did that. And I also want to talk about your faith. So you're talking about it openly, frequently, and passionately. Mm-hmm. Like, right? Passion. We're going to talk about passion yeah. in a moment. But um, can you point to a specific moment in your life where your faith was tested the most? Yeah, uh, plenty of times. I thought um, just just my sophomore year, going through everything I went that through, was I was. The year. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough. Yeah. We lost certain games, uh, I had high expectations. Yeah. I used to go on Twitter and make certain comments and stuff like that, and some fans would beat me up about it. So that wouldn't help the situation. I wanted to thrive in my sport. I wanted to thrive. I wanted to be the best. I want to be the best. Like, and I'm not, I'm not getting Child. the results that yeah, I want. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, that was one thing, right? But then you start dealing with injuries within that year, and and then you losing games, and you going home every night with just a depression in your heart, and yeah. you got to wake up the next day and keep going. It's, it was hard. It was okay. hard. And then the transfer situation, I remember all them tears I shared with my mom about, hey, I don't know if I want to be here. I don't know if I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's just a sigh of relief. And it was I was really tested at that point because yeah. I've never, ever been like somebody who quit. Mm-hmm. You know, it's okay. just one thing to transfer because, like, it's obviously not working there for not you. A good it's fit, just not somewhere not you want right, to be. Right, right. Cause there's another reason to transfer because you blaming everybody else for your problems. You know you're That's wrong. True. You know what I mean? You, you just, that was the hard part for me. It just, I, I was trying so hard trying to figure it out yeah. that maybe I should just take a step back and idolize God more. Yeah. You know, idolize my teammates more. Idolize my coaches and, and uh, these human beings around me who support me regardless more. Yeah. You know, I thought I, that's what I didn't do. Yeah. And so <laughs> me looking in the mirror um, when COVID kind of hit, I just, I don't know, I just, some, some, some change, some change, some yeah. change. And it happened, it happened because I remember thinking about Keith yeah. and uh, that's my cousin that uh, passed away. Right, right, right. Um, thinking about Keith, and he said, hey, you're going to be the best. You're going to be the best. And um, he said, you're going to be the best safety in the country. But me being the best safety, not just on the field, but, like, me being the the best man that I can be. Right. So I looked in the mirror, and I just said, okay, hey, no more blaming anybody for your problems. Today we're going to live every day one at a time with an agenda, with a plan, yeah. with a, with detail, like, every single day. And um, I think uh, as i done that, it, it helped me develop a lot, a lot of trust within myself and confidence. And whether I fall on my back, I'm just like, all right, whatever, and get back up. But <laughs> I'm going hard. I'm going Always. hard. So I think that's what really um, developed that uh, 
develop that uh, trait for me as I, I went you. on, just being strong, perseverance, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So that was a whole, one one really really hard time in my life. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't put it put it at the highest spot, but yeah. it was a very hard time for me and um, for me to get over that hump. Shows me like yeah, the storm definitely is going to end. You don't yeah. know when, but if you keep cho- if you keep chopping at it, you know what I mean, and you stay positive within that, you you can always get over it. So yeah, wow. So yeah, my um my sophomore year, I, I mean, I transferred my freshman year, uh-huh. but I just know how much um mental energy, yeah. just everything about it, because yeah. you you have this plan, you right? You so have much, you yeah. have these high expectations. Uh, and you want it. You want yeah. it so bad that you want to. You want it to work out, yeah. right? Like you. You would love to have a collegiate experience with no strife, no distress, mm-hmm. nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm doing it. I'm. Yeah. You know, receiving all the accolades. Yep. I'm working. I'm just having fun. I mean, it never works out like that. Yeah. But uh, I can definitely, I definitely uh, attest to that. Just what you're saying. So, yeah. if you had to point to um, one mistake i guess and we, we've touched on it a little bit just uh kind of blaming other people for your problems like what would you want other people to learn from your experience like to not don't do this yeah. <laughs> what would that uh, be well uh, first thing first is um don't quit on yourself don't quit on yourself, don't quit on yourself. that's mm-hmm. one and then never ever like blame others for your problems yeah i think that was huge that was huge for you yeah because i mean like and, and and it could be their fault, mm-hmm. honestly. Like, it could be their fault. Like, legitimately, if you look through it and you ask another person who fault is it, it could be their fault, right? right? Like, that's the hard part when mm-hmm. you know you're right yeah. and you still say, hey, I'm wrong. I'm going to fix myself. I, I could have I, I I did something done better. better it you could, know what I mean? Me. And so I think that's that's the biggest thing, taking complete ownership, yeah. whether it's right, wrong, or indifferent. Yeah. I think that's what, that's what makes the biggest change mm-hmm. through all this. You know, yeah. uh, I think if you live like that, it ain't too much stuff that can stop you. <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. Okay, yeah. perfect. So I want to talk about Wake Em Up because yeah. I love that. Yeah, I think Wake Em Up. I love that. Wake Em Up. So it started out um, as a note to the college coaches who, mm-hmm. who overlooked you, right? Yeah. So then now it's kind of a reminder to look in the mirror and mm-hmm. kind of, quote, fix he- issues head on. Yeah. Do you feel like wake them up has grown with you like you you've experienced yeah. there's been so much growth in these last yeah, few i think years. wake them up is me yeah yeah i think it is me i think it's in all of us honestly yeah. i think uh it's the human way you mm-hmm. know um i think being what 22 now yeah. you know um we got twitter and instagram and like yeah. this perfect world everybody's living in mm-hmm. that failure is just like drug yeah like people like slander people for failure Mm -hmm. you know uh, i think um (laughs) that wake them up deal is big because that person that's getting drugs or getting slandered like Mm -hmm. they got another day tomorrow to actually like overcome and 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 be the hero again you know i think that's huge you know i think uh, that's a lot about my career like i was in the transfer portal and i come back and i'm like one of the top safeties in the country i'm leading the team and Mm -hmm. and uh, i'm finishing as one of the i mean favorite aggies i love being an aggie you know but like it just (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the wake em up deal is in everybody because yeah. we 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 deal with so much depression, we deal with so much problems, and sometimes we don't believe in ourselves. We, we gotta wake it. our we gotta wake ourselves up. And before the moment we, before then, the moment we wake ourselves up, we wake the world up in a heartbeat because is. we believed in ourselves 120 percent of the way, 24 hours every single day. We just we just gave it everything we got, and then everybody who ever like doubted us or yeah. didn't believe in us—it's just human nature, you know—to um, overcome, yeah. overcome adversity. It's part of wake them up. Wake them up is everything. Wake them up is everything. I love that. Yeah, like you have to believe in you before anybody else does. Right. Trust in yourself is everything. Bet yeah. on me. That, yeah. That's kind of how I, yeah. I think about it. Prove me right is right. something I say to myself as well. So. No, I, I 100% mm-hmm. agree. So just kind of moving into that social media. Mm-hmm. Um, atmosphere mm-hmm. so thirty thousand followers on twitter right. that is no small platform <laughs> right and you've been very vocal on yeah. twitter just about who you are yeah. right um who you want to be who you want to be the man you're becoming uh this team this program this school mm-hmm. it's almost like like you're an open book and we we kind of love you for it right. so I, I love no, you for yeah. it. <laughs> um but i i you hit on it with just the slander right, right. like how one day you could be the the man top right. of the world everybody right. loves you and then all of a sudden something happens and it's now the 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 narrative has changed mm-hmm. so just 
how do you how do you handle that? How do you deal with that? Um, you said your sophomore year is kind of it was a lot, you yeah. know, just kind of feeding into that and really starting yeah. to um, allow people's opinions kind of penetrate your perception of self. Right. So how how are you dealing? How do you fare with that? Now? Yeah, I think it's all about what you idolize. Yeah, you know, um, I idolize God more than I idolize myself. Yeah, you know, I think uh, a selfish, uh, self centered person will only see their self and yeah. never seen beyond their self i think uh that's huge yeah. i think um as i went i start realizing like even when i was going through certain like stuff and mm. depression i still had fans and little yeah. kids texting me and they telling me how much they look up to me and i changed their life yeah. and like they love me and all that Bigger and like picture. but you know i didn't care mm. at the at the first i just yeah. was another fan yeah. right well let's take a step back real quick like Look where you came from. Look how much you can implement into other people and, and change other people. You know what I yeah. mean? So like the impact you have. There's no room as a student athlete to be selfish. And I want every athlete to hear that. There's no room for any <laughs> student no athlete room. to be selfish. Yeah. I think uh, we need to use our, our, our stage that we have. Our platforms. You know, yeah. We need to use it in, in a positive direction, in a I positive agree. manner every day. Even when we go through failure, we got to show the world that, like, failure is okay. Yeah. Fail hard. And fail, fail forward. often, yeah. Fail forward too. So yeah. I mean, that's what life is all about. Life yeah. is about failure because we're humans. You know yeah. what I mean? We gonna have bad days, but show them within that bad day what you learn from that bad day. The experience that, piece. That yeah, we about like before. you, like I'm, like I'm better. I'm better because I went through that. You know, I'm yeah. better. No, like, don't judge me prematurely. I'm better because I went through that. And exactly. you gotta show some of these fans who believe in you, like. I'm still fighting. I'm still going I'm hard. You know what I mean? And so, like, you give them power. And so, like, when they're sometimes, you never know, like, they're 14, about to be 18 and be a student athlete in college, yeah. they're going to look back at the moment when you DM them and tell them, keep going. You know, you you, you be somebody. Go wake the world up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, and they don't have nothing at that moment. But when they do have stuff, they're going to really, like, take that and cherish that. And, yeah. and that's going to be their motto as they go. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like, the, inf the influence we have on the world it's huge. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Beyond so what we us, probably yeah. even realize. So us spreading our light and being positive and being great people every single day is a yeah. is our service and it's a disservice if we're not doing it. So I think it's, it's huge and that's something I try to pride myself on every single day. Yeah. Um, as long as I'm on on this earth, I'm going to be a positive man uh, and try to be keep a positive perspective, yeah. whether I'm an athlete or not. But while I'm an athlete and I got the stage and I got the platform, I'm gonna really use it. I'm gonna really use it. Yeah, you know, no, you so should. that's uh, something I've been trying to do a better job at. Mm -hmm. I thought. Fresh or sophomore, you have a little bit immature yeah. on social media, and obviously, like I think people love the little jokes and the little sarcasm <laughs> I use out of there. They but do. now you tr you see the older Leon mm -hmm. and the more mature Leon who only care and and they got peace and love in his heart, you yeah. know, and uh, idolize nothing else but God Himself, and uh, just want to make everybody better. So. Growth, yeah. we love growth on this side. So um, I just want to touch on nil mm -hmm. for a second. Oh yeah, uh, I love NIL. <laughs> do you, okay, so t talk about that. Talk about yeah. that love. It's and it's not it's not for uh, it's not for the money mm -hmm. as much as it was for the interaction with the fans. Yeah. Uh just recently had a signing uh period during our bye week mm -hmm. uh way back in uh oh man, just being able to Amazing. say I'm about to try sure. <laughs> got to cry thinking about <laughs> it. So many kids, so many uh, adults, yeah. like it's just it, uh, so many different families just coming up and just giving love and gratitude and we and we conversate and being able to bond mm -hmm. together like and enjoy this great s sport and, yeah. and 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 how much it does for all of us the mm -hmm. excitement and and just we just I was upon a heaven like I just yeah. love it because I got to interact with the fans right. you know I think that's huge and yeah. um and they could get merchandise for me mm -hmm. and, and and they if they need something for me they could interact with me more it's yeah. just it's just me more you know uh being able to do that and stuff like that so but yeah i think take. uh in a nil is like a it's like a microphone yeah right so we have our social medias mm -hmm. you know that's that's great and I, again i love the way you use your social media i Thank think you. it's you just your spirit is infectious it truly is um I try to do the same thing, uh, just through my writing, yeah. and just creative pursuits yeah. through this. Like yeah. this You're is what amazing, this, Jordan. thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> um, like this is what this is for, yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I also love it. I love uh -huh. it for that reason. So it's clear that you're a passionate person. Like in this conversation, you're yeah. just about to, you just got emotional talking yeah. about the smiles that you put on faces. Yeah. And I want to talk about, so you're passionate about football, obviously. You're passionate mm -hmm. about A&M. Yep. Passionate about 
failing forward essentially right like mm-hmm. just overcoming adversity what's a cause that you like if you had to kind of sum it up into a couple words a sentence what's a cause that you're passionate about that you leon are passionate about it's called that I'm passionate about. Uh, I think uh biggest thing is like the mental health, mental health. you know, um, not just athletes and stuff like that, but I think like in general, yeah. you know, especially athletes, obviously, because we get away from our families and we got so much expectations yeah. and life be moving so fast. Oh, my goodness. And uh, <laughs> sometimes it feels like, oh, my you're God. Just like, yeah. It's like you're drowning. It's just going to keep going. I got to be here, be there, have this agenda, have this, and I don't have no time to be a human being and like it, you know, so. To find your. Your, zen, your happy your place calm. and your peacefulness, you know. So yeah. I think uh, the biggest thing is just trying to find peace within yourself every single day, you know, and uh, accept yourself, you yeah. know, and especially if you have failures and always say, hey, I'm going to overcome them and I'll just keep fighting and keep striving. If it don't work, so be it. I'm going to try to go beat it tomorrow, you yeah. know. So, I mean, like all that stuff matters. Uh, the biggest cause, I think, with all of us is just hit mental health as a human being and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, touching up on uh, – people who are getting bullied in school and going through certain stuff in yeah. school. Like, I remember, like, all types of stuff. I mean, I was more of the famous kid in school, but yeah. I made everybody feel at ease with the same, you know, person I am with enthusiasm. That's so yeah, and That's yeah, so yeah, because first of all, we don't belittle people at all. We no, always try to no. uplift people, you know <laughs> exactly. what I mean? So my biggest thing was that and, and just trying to keep a good frame of thought, train of thought and stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah, so mental health, I think, is mental huge, health. definitely huge. Uh yeah going forward uh with me and uh all the causes in life and stuff like that and yeah. i just did a uh recently i think i i think it was like hmm, it was like COVID time okay i did a reach program uh and go fund me and we raised almost uh i think eighty thousand dollars for families uh and 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 getting them food and, yeah. and service and stuff like that for people who lost like families who lost their, job, lost their jobs yeah. and they were custodians and stuff at a&m mm-hmm. and stuff the like that the invisible aggies invisible aggies yeah, yeah so i, saw I mean, the video. yeah so so, uh, yeah. I t- and I actually took my time to like do everything. I did uh, the editing really? and everything. <laughs> yeah, or the video. I just okay. got in front of there. Uh, got my girlfriend and she like had the camera and I was just like, <laughs> all right, this is, you know, but I, I enjoyed it. it. I enjoyed it. it. I just wanted to make sure I implement my love and stuff like that and help as many uh, people as I can, yeah. you know, with the platform that we have. So, yeah. So this biggest thing about us being humans is being happy and being peaceful. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Finding that peace. And yeah. we need pillars of peace. Yeah. And I, I would argue that you're one of them, right? Thank like you. you you embody so much of the human spirit, right? Like facing adversity but overcoming and mm-hmm. the positivity and the faith and um just going back I for lost my train of thought before when mm-hmm. we were talking about it, but seeing all those smiling faces, right? Like being able to impact a kid or DMing someone back, be, you know, yeah. I love you and you're like, yeah, yeah. no, I appreciate you, like wake them up, you know, whatever whatever it is that you say, whatever it is that you bring. We all need something to believe in. I'm a a firm believer in that. And to tie it in with mental health, when you lose that, when you lose that hope, when there seems like there's no light at the end of that tunnel, Mm -hmm. things get scary very quickly. Um, I've I've felt that before. So um, I just want to, I guess, thank you on behalf of all the people that you inspire, including myself, for doing that and and being that. Um, So I want to talk about you a little bit more. So what do you? <laughs> I'm letting you know I can shoot too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I seen the game winner. Yeah. He's not a game. Oh, he's not a game winner. Okay. <laughs> we gonna have to see though. You gonna uh-huh. have to come out and record. I'm gonna have to see. Um, <laughs> so outside of the fact that you can shoot, um, what do you think? What do you want people to know about you that they that they don't already? Uh, I don't know. Just that I'm just that I'm human. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just that I'm human. That I'm human. Yeah. 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 Yeah
introspection is something that you do quite mm-hmm. a bit. Uh, that that's obvious. Can you recall the moment where you realize like I'm on the right path, like I am becoming the mm-hmm. man that I want to become? Yeah. Uh, it really it really start happening. Uh, I think like five weeks into the workouts, I was been doing my own personal workouts. Yeah, like, this past. Yeah, like. Really. I, it was times where like I was like oh I'm so tired I'm so dead mm-hmm. but I still wake up in the morning it's yeah. like I go on that I go on that track and go run and I'm like like oh my god I don't, is, I, all the pain me. just like, went I'm away yeah I just it. feel yeah. free though I feel yeah. free like it's not I don't feel like it's a job you know I don't feel like a job it's like I like I like doing this I it's want like a, this it's like a therapy for me yes. I love this like you know yeah. um oh man that's 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 crazy and then going on that field and going to be able to be able to play yeah. It's like, oh, I'm right here. I'm right where I want to be at. Yeah. In Calfield, 105,000 people. Mm-hmm. You know, after all the 17 weeks of work with mm-hmm. my teammates and, and my mom, you know, within myself. Ah, so just being in them two environments, you know, like seeing both proofs of the pudding. Yeah. You know, I think that's the coolest part, you know, mm-hmm. uh, being with my guys and playing for yeah. both my guys and bonding with them and, and trying to make sure they they trying to – we pushing each other to be better men every single day and stuff like that. You know, I think that's – uh. That's that's that was a lovely spot for me, yeah. you know. And that's when I kind of knew, like, yeah, like, I, I'm I'm doing pretty good for myself right now, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. That's it's always nice to I don't know, kind of hear about all the things that you've been through, that yeah. you've gone through, and and coming out on the other side, yeah. uh, just as a stronger, better person overall. Yeah. Um, someone that you can see in the mirror and be proud of. Yeah, that's like that is something. <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah. Like, I, I also just uh, recently kind of experienced that. I mm-hmm. think maybe it was um, after the season mm-hmm. last year, I took a moment. And I was like, that's really why I started crying in the Iowa State game. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. You, I never would have yeah. thought, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. It was, it was surreal. But, Leon, it has truly been a pleasure. So, Thank we're going to. So we're going to finish up with, like, a couple of quick, mm-hmm. quick questions. Mm-hmm. So, favorite restaurant in College Station? Oh, okay. Favorite restaurant in College Station, uh, F and F. F and F. F and F. It's like uh, right by Los Cucos. Okay. Um, Chick Fil A, Los Cucos area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's on Texas Avenue. Mm-hmm. So what do you get from F? <sighs> F and F is really good. What'd you, what'd you get from there? <laughs> it's like a Japanese grill. So oh, I get like. Um, I might have to go. I'm not a big beef guy. I've been yeah. a lot of seafood lately, just mm-hmm. to keep away from like I'm detox. So like okay. beef and chicken and all that stuff, just. Not your vibe. Yeah, right you now. gotta watch it. Watch it. Give me the bubble guts. Huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> shrimp, uh, shrimp, um, the fried rice, mm-hmm. and I think I get like they got like these um, poppers, fried poppers. Yeah. It's like um, it's fried all the way around, mm-hmm. but it's a uh, jalapeno, oh. fr- fried jalapeno poppers, okay. and it's like um, I'm trying to think what's inside of it. Jesus Christ, crab! <laughs> it's crab, fi- it's crab filled in a jalapeno, okay, with cheese and all you know all the all type the of yeah, all the junk, <laughs> and and, and this, they got some sauce, special sauce they put on it, like mm-hmm. yummy yummy sauce, and yeah. I'm like, bust yeah. it! Oh my god, bust it! And they got some crunchy <laughs> shrimp, uh huh, and it's like. It's like this tall. Oh. Yeah. And it's so delicious. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to have to check out the FNF. I'm F&F. a vegetarian, but I'll, but I'll find some. Uh-huh. So conditioning or lifting weights? Conditioning or lifting weights. Uh, conditioning. Conditioning. For sure. For that sure. is an unpopular opinion. You realize oh, yeah. this? Oh, yeah. That's a big unpopular yeah. opinion. I personally like running probably better than you I You can do. be strong on the outside, but are you strong within? Conditioning. I love that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, condition. Okay. Fra- favorite pregame meal? Favorite pregame meal. Yeah. All right. Salmon. Salmon? That's I, a Carlina I, said the same thing. Mm-hmm. I salmon, miss salmon. Salmon Y'all gives you that energy, that juice. I need that, yeah. <laughs> gives you the juice. Salmon, shrimp, uh-huh. uh, lobster. Lobster? Y'all got money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the NIL. Right, no, right, but, right. <laughs> no, but, no, but uh, you know, salmon, mm-hmm. shrimp, lobster. Yeah. Like. Some like in that frame work mm-hmm. or something. I, yeah, I go to work on. So, All right. yeah, that's my move. <laughs> okay. So, uh, last this or that. So, movies or TV shows? Mm. Yeah, I stayed at the wrong time. Why? Because I always watch movies. Okay. Always. Like, oh, I think I've seen every movie <laughs> like there is to see that I okay. will be interested to mm-hmm. see. But, like, I've been watching, like, different movies, like, lately, like, BMF, mm-hmm. Power. Oh, different little TV shows. Yeah, and, like, uh, Jaden Peavy, one of our alum, you know, he's been telling me, I like, know Jaden. You know Jaden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been telling me about Power, and mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I'm, you know, I'm not big on shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my but you god! On the I I had stayed up all night like the other night <laughs> watching it, watching and I, I like 
I have binging. to slap myself and be like, okay, I can't watch Power. No right, more. right, this, right. Just late. But uh, no, nah, so I. I I go movies. Movies. I go movies. movies. I go Overall. movies just because I watch so much movies. Okay. Yeah. I got you. I'm the same way. Okay. I'm fair. the same way. Fair. But seriously, thank you so much for this. Mm-hmm. This was fun. No, thank you. God yeah. bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. And that's a wrap, folks. <laughs> <laughs>